How's it going everybody? I just wanted to show you really quick guys uh, how I'm going to mix some of my paint. This is uh, this is a Viridian Hue by Winsor & Newton. It's, uh, it's their, Winton, their Winton series. It's not expensive. Some people think that it's like just artist, uh, student, student grade. Uh, they also claim that, but it's highly pigmented. That's, that's one of the reasons I like to use it for a professional painting. I'm going to use some Walmart oil to thin it. So check it out. The ratio, it's really, it's really not that important. A lot of people have asked me about what the ratio is, but it's really not that important. What matters is that you turn the, the, the paint into, into a buttery consistency. That's really all that matter, ma matters. When you, when you get the paint out of the tube, it, it's buttery, but not as much. There's, there's, you have to soften it. There's a, there's a little process you do. You just soften it. And I'm using this this uh, palette knife to do it, this large palette knife. But there's really no science to it. The the here's another thing also to to keep in mind when you're softening the paint. Um, the the drying time. It's going to be uh, it, it prolongs the, the drying time, but it does create a very quick film over over the paint itself. So. I know it's a little interesting, it's a little, it's a little weird concept, like what do you mean, does it prolong the, the drying time or not? It does in the curing process. The overall paint, the curing process, it does, but, but if you just leave it out here in the palette, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in your palette board or whatever, it's going to create a very quick uh, film, a very, a, a, like a skin, skin over your paint, and so, so you, have to, you have to be aware of that. Because it does it very fast, especially with with uh, different pigments. One that it does it extremely fast with is with uh, black paint and uh, and dioxin purple. With the Viridian, it does it fast too, but not as fast as the dioxin purple and the black. So that's something to keep in mind. So I just do this very quick, and now my paint is softened. So now I can I can use it. It's not going to be fighting me. And this is great whether you use a Bristol brush or a a soft brush, whether you're using a, a acrylic brushes or oil paint brushes. It doesn't matter. Once the paint is soft, it's going to really it's going to help you.